Hello and welcome to another wonderful tutorial. Um, I have a few things to say. First off, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but um, by the time that I probably upload both of these, I'm sure no one would have commented by now. Um, I plan on, I'm actually thinking about making this game um, open source Laria, right? Um, I, I don't know. Like, I honestly love the idea of getting money from working hard on this game, and I am working hard. But, um, I don't really know. I mean, you guys really want me to make this open source? And I know no one's asked this question before except for me. But the reason I'm asking is, you know, would you guys, I mean, would you really buy this game? I know it's pretty um, early on and all, but um, would you actually buy it? And I mean that, like, would you actually trust you putting your money? And I'm thinking, most of you won't. And there's no way my words going to be spread about if no one's buying it. So I'm thinking, you know, if enough people think it should be open source, I'll make it open source. So, um, besides that, I figured out why I made, um, why it was working wrong. Instead of making, um, a folder in the main project like I did here, I should have made it in the source folder. And by doing that, I actually renamed the folder world. And when you do that, you're going to have to rename this world too. The reason it's like this is because I actually made a tutorial before, but it really didn't record the audio, so I'm redoing it. Okay, um, this tutorial is going to be on making a player object. Now, what's a game without a player? So, I'm going to create a simple class, player. And I'm sorry if this is, like, really hard, but bear in with me, please, because, you know, private image static. we got to make this static. Image icon, um... Oh, starting to load on me. Player equals new image icon. We're going to leave it like that for now. Um, import. Actually, no, we're not going to do that just here. We're going to do player dot class dot resource. Um, and I don't know. Um, you're going to have to be making these on your own these images. I made a player.gif and that's the same one from Laria. Um, you're going to have to make a character that is 40 tall and 20 wide. So let's real fast just player player.gif and there we go. Now we should let's just try make sure we don't get any errors. Okay it's still background which is good. We didn't even add anything yet so shouldn't be surprised. We'll make a few variables. Private, static, and x, y. It's going to be the places where um, the player is, you know, x and y coordinates. We'll make y half of the total board side size, so the player is in the middle. Same with x, is half of the x size. So, and then with that, we're going to create some getters, and you'll see what a getter is. Static image. Um, get image return player dot get image image going have to import image because Java is really picky about everything. Oh, all languages are picky. And get x return x public static y static int y static int get y return y of oh, y be sure to spell it right so we can probably exit out of this since we won't be working with this let's draw the character draw dot draw image um okay Please comment, like, rate, subscribe. I'm nowhere near done yet. The image is going to be the player dot get image. Guess the image from the player file, player class. Um, zero and zero and null. I always make that null. I purposefully made a few errors here, and I'll show you what they would do. Oh wait, where's our player? Oh, where'd he go? Well, I probably sounded really sarcastic. Notice what we just did. It draws a player, then it draws the background. This is a huge mistake. 
that often results in programmers um, I mean the code is correct but you always want to have the background drawn first I don't care what you're making background always drawn first you can run it and you will see there he is he's just looking at the corner what a sad little ball of goo so yeah now we have that only problem is he's up in the screen so what we're probably going to do is player dot get x remember x always goes first it does matter dot get y and if you remember he should be in the center of the screen because we're such awesome programmers and yes there he is so that's your real quick tutorial on how to create a player I'm going to do key binding and stuff next so until then see you later